The grime artist is back now with a new single, but he's also turned his hand to TV presenting um, because you're involved in Sky One's series yes, Carnage. Yes, I am. Amazing show. Um, it goes on <laughs> Sky One Sundays, 8 p.m. with Freddie Flintoff and Vicky Hope. That's right. It's a, it's a very high octane show. But there's some horrible obstacles. There's some yes, really there is. dangerous. It is very dangerous, stuff. but I think that adds to the thrill of the whole show. But well, it um, does if everything you're watching. is safe, though. I don't know about doing it. Nobody got hurt, but just to let you know that everything was cool. But it's very, it is very thrilling, and I think it just adds to the excitement. I, I, was, I was watching some of the footage last night, and it occurred to me that Robot Wars, all the robots were remote controlled. But yeah. in this, you're actually no, in the car. These are actual people <laughs> driving. So each team has an engineer, a mechanic, and a driver. So while they're driving, the team can speak to them in the air to give them directions because obviously there's blind spots so they've got to kind of navigate them around, avoid obstacles. Yeah. And every stage, every arena has like an arena car. So that we've got the pusher, we've got the lethal finisher and we've got the shredder. So you have to get away from that as well as the other contestants. So it's a real jam-packed show. Brilliant stuff. There's um, other stuff that we want to talk about. That, by the way, that's on Sky One. At... Yep, Sky One, Sundays, 8pm. Also, you watch it on Now TV and on Catch Up. Brilliant. Um... We want to talk to you about some other stuff, not least Judy Dench. Yes. Now, did Judy Dench ring you and say, she did. it's about time I need she to learn did. how to rap? Because, I mean, she's been talking about me for some time now on her interviews and stuff. Yeah. When it, and in her name. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My clothing line was called Stay Dench, which is literally nothing to do with her. It was just like a cool term. Oh, I know she's busy doing movies and stuff, but I'll be happy doing some more stuff now, with her. Funnily enough, that, that video, Pow, which she does so so. She does it perfectly, like literally perfect. My mum can't even do it like that. But that <laughs> song was yes. banned from clubs, wasn't it? Because it was yes. blamed for fights. It was wrongly blamed for fights, I should say, because um, it's, it's, it's quite an old song. It's 2004. And um, I just think it was the first of its kind of the whole the grime generation. Yeah, the Metropolitan Police Commissioner, Chris Dick, has been talking about recently, saying that she's worried about the violent undercurrent in some music, especially grime, apparently, which could lead young people thinking it was an admirable thing to talk about violence. Now, over the last couple of days, I've had a look at a couple of these drill videos mm -hmm. uh, online, you know, involving gang members making threats about other gangs and the violence that that can lead to. Do you think there's a direct line between those videos, that music, and some of this gang um, I think, as you said before, I've been here before, we had this conversation with David Cameron a few years ago. He tried to blame me for, you know, similar sort of scenarios. And my, my point is, I'm from similar areas of where these young kids are from. And the music is what's taken us away from that environment. If anything, it's a positive thing to come away from that and try and change your life. Luckily, I've been able to live my life through music and have a career. I think at this moment in stage, it's about trying to find a solution and not trying to find the blame, because I think everyone's just trying to blame everything and no one's trying to solve anything. And I think everyone has to take a bit of responsibility, the government do, themselves, the parents. I think it's a bigger agenda than just blaming the music, because there's nothing that's going to change if we don't find a real solution to make it different. Of course. I suppose, though, it might have taken you away from the area with your success. Exactly. But maybe what they're arguing is, is that those people who are still in those areas who look up to you as a talented, creative, successful mm. person and listen to some of the lyrics in your songs and, and many others. My, my lyrics have changed your, over the yeah, years. Yours, yours are. We're talking about a song but that's over 14 years generally, ago. generally, they might yeah. look at artists generally in that mm. way and think, well, actually, there's a certain endorsement of And I, violence. do you know what? I don't think... I think there's a, quite a distinction between the different types mm. of music. But I think in some of these videos in particular, mm. not talking about your, your videos, in some of these, quite explicit yeah, I, I agree language that, but... about about knives, about guns, yeah. and about other gang members. Yeah, and I feel, I think what you understand is a lot of these kids are actually living that life, and obviously they're musicians and they're expressing what they're going mm. through. So as an artist, you have a right to talk about what you want to talk about. It might not be the easiest to listen yeah. to, but I feel like if that's what they're experiencing, that's what they're going to talk about. Mm. If, an, if another artist yeah. is something else... So let's change their experience. Yeah. Exactly, do yeah. you know what I mean? Mm. Change their experience, try and help them. And I feel like, especially with the knife crime, I feel like these kids feel like they don't really have much to live for. And I think it's important for us to try and store that encouragement and give them something that they have something to live for. And the music is an option for mm. them to be like, you know, I want to protect this. Yeah. Let's carry on with this. And as time goes on, the situation is going to change. If you listen to, to Pow and you listen to Flex, my new single, mm. 
it's two, tif- to- two total different records because I've grown up, I've managed to come away from that world mm. and it's about maturing and just going through life experiences. But they're at the, they're at the foundation of where they are right now, so they're going through that. But I'm pretty mm. sure with the right guidance and the right help and hopefully my blueprint could be one for them to understand that this is not the way you can always go, there's another way to go as well. Things will start growing and people will start elevating and start following that. Well yeah. said. Well, well said. said. And I, yeah, absolutely. Let's give them something to live for and let's mm. give them the chance exactly. to grow up mm. and mature. It's really lovely to meet you. Yes, you too, mm. you Bizzle, too. Bizzle, thank you, thank you so very much, much for, for coming in and talking to us this morning. And um, so the show's on Sunday. Yes, and check the, it out. It's yeah, a good watch. Brilliant, mm. yeah. You love cars anyway, don't I you? I love cars, literally. Um, I wanted to get involved, actually, but they wouldn't let me drive in in the cars. Well, wasn't there a... Didn't you have a little yeah, prank? Yeah, I crashed, I, I crashed my Ferrari <laughs> a few years ago. Oh, no, like, that sounds painful, awful. And I only had it for 24 hours. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm a better driver now, though. I'm a better driver <laughs> now. Is that why the insurers wouldn't let you get into yeah. those vehicles? It was a long time ago, <laughs> <laughs> We've all changed. Maybe next yeah. series. Maybe next up. series. Right.